next. The next speaker now is the Asian Forum. You have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. This is a joint statement. We thank the High Commissioner for her update. We urge states to cooperate with her during this crisis. Effective international cooperation and assistance will be essential to stemming the tide of this pandemic. States and international institutions must use all available resources to respect, protect, and fulfill economic and social rights. They should ensure that those who are most marginalized and at greatest risk are protected. States must protect the right to health. They should ensure that health services and goods necessary for prevention and care are accessible, available, and affordable for all. Health workers and other frontline workers should be provided with adequate protective equipment, information, training, and psychosocial support. States should ensure that intellectual property regimes do not impede access to, access to vital medicines and vaccines for populations in need. States should provide emergency accommodation to people who are homeless. They must also take measures to protect people from being made more vulnerable to COVID-19 because of a lack of housing. Measures taken by states to address the pandemic can have adverse impacts on the right to food. States must ensure that the right to food is guaranteed. People in precarious forms of labor, the majority of which are women, are more likely to see their rights to and at work adversely impacted. States must ensure everyone has access to social security protection as well as economic support. States should identify the impact of certain restrictions on people's livelihoods which could then impact a range of rights and mitigate these to the extent possible. Faced with school closures, states should, should explore innovative and accessible ways to provide access to education and ensure adequate levels of financial support for those that need it. In situations of conflict and occupation, it is critical that governments ensure full and unimpeded access for humanitarian and medical aid. We urge states to recommit to working together towards a more just world, to, uh, to tackle underlying inequalities and ensure the full respect and fulfillment of rights without discrimination. This helps make us more resilient and better equipped to prevent or address another such crisis. Thank you, Madam President.